Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back for another motivational cleaning video. Today I'm back with another whole house clean with me. I filmed this video over two days. The first day I took care of the front part of the house. The kitchen and living areas were a complete mess. I haven't wiped the counters down in at least two or three days. I've been loading the dishwasher, but that's pretty much it. So it felt good to finally get it back in order. The living room is the kids' responsibility. I'm in my office majority of the day, some days, and by the time I'm done working, that's the last thing I want to do is clean up after their mess. I need everything up and off the floor so I can vacuum and wipe down surfaces. My room and bathroom weren't that bad, it just needs a quick speed clean and organize. The laundry is backed up, of course, you guys already know, I put laundry off all week. I try to keep up with it after a time like this, but here we are. If you enjoy these whole house motivational cleaning videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any more of my future uploads. And with all that said, let's get started. So I decided to start in the kitchen. I'm offloading the dishwasher and loading it back up. Also asking the girls to bring me any dishes that are laying around. I'm clearing off the countertop so I can wipe them all down. My usual kitchen cleaning routine. Like I said, I haven't wiped down the counters in a while, so there's a lot of sticky bits. I haven't been cooking as often, just quick meals, so the stove top isn't that dirty. I'm still using Jaws cleaning products. It's not sponsored. I bought these on Amazon because I've seen some of my YouTube friends using them and I actually really like them. Of course, I'm still waiting to make my own cleaning products again once I find the ingredients I need. But in the meantime, these have been a great alternative. I'm using the disinfectant on the bar soles. This cannot be used on granite. I'm also using a damp cloth, using hot water by the way. I always get asked what temperature water I use and I realize I don't think I've ever mentioned that. Anyways, after I wipe everything down, rinse in my cloth in between several times, then I'll buff everything dry with a dry cloth and while we're here, my bar stools are from Ikea. For the stove top, I'm using the Jaws Kitchen Spray. This is a degreaser and now that I think about it, it reminds me of the method degreaser that's not supposed to be used on a glass top. I'm going to check really quick if that's the case with this one.
I finally have a toaster after all these years. For some reason, my whole young adult life, I've never purchased one of these. I had a toaster oven, but I like this for bagels, toast, or ready waffles. I also bought a new sandwich press, so I'm replacing that one with the new one. The old one just died on me. I don't know why. I had it for years. Amir, my son, asked for a snack and he's just being cute and smiling and winking at me while I'm washing the leftover dishes. He used to be right up under me all the time in my videos, but I think he gets it now. Once he sees my camera and lighting kit, he always says, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. After I scrub my sink with the dish soap and disinfectant spray, I'm going in with a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, my holy grail for shining my sink. I recently talked about this in my favorite cleaning products and tools video. I'll put that up in a card here for you if you haven't watched it yet. I'm just about done in the kitchen now until I come back later to vacuum and mop. I was going to start in the living room, but the kids haven't done a thing. They've been gaming, of course. I know it's summer, but they still have to help me clean up. I give them a break sometimes, but most of the time I don't. They always have to pick up after themselves, and I just started having the girls clean their room after I found it in a complete disgusting mess the other day. They know the routine. Music equals cleaning time. I said my room wasn't that bad, but now looking at it, it's messy. Messy, not dirty. Emir brings food into my bed in the mornings. I think he's telling me that he wants breakfast. There's Play-Doh in here, random things. So I'm not gonna talk over this part too much. I'm just tidying up and then I'll vacuum and move into the bathroom just to do a quick surface clean while the kids are finishing up cleaning the living room. Thought the loving would be easy, but it's all for free. 
the laundry in my bathroom is overflowing but my shower doors are holding up well in between deep cleaning uh, the inside of my shower if it's not dirty I just wipe the glass with glass cleaner and it instantly looks freshly cleaned again one thing for sure when I buy a house I'm installing a water softener the water here in Florida is too hard The tub has the daily ring around it after bath time last night. I'm using some shower cleaner and a dry cloth just to do a quick spot clean. This is what I do as long as there's no actual dirt in the tub to save time. I did clean the toilet with the disinfectant. I didn't film that part, so I'm just washing my hands and then showing you guys the end result as I go instead of waiting all the way until the end this time. The kids are outside playing. It was so hot on this day, but they like it out there. And as long as they're wearing sunscreen and drinking water, they don't mind. The garage is not an option this time of day. It's a sauna out there. I have to either go to Home Depot or order that portable AC unit to cool it down out there. It's okay at night and when it rains, but midday, it's too hot for them to go out there for even five minutes. I'm giving the Jaws hardwood cleaner another go. I think it's just that I like the scent of the Method one so much. There's nothing wrong with this product, I just prefer the scent of the Method one. I also use glass cleaners to clean my TV on a cloth and I don't recommend you do this. I need to find a better solution but for now it's just a little bit of glass cleaner with a very light hand. I'm cleaning off the chair's legs before putting them on the table and I noticed some crayon and sticky prints on the underside. 
one of my chairs was brought outside I can tell because there was about two inches of dirt around the base of the legs and for that I used the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. There was so much dust all over this bar cart. I'm planning to start having some guests soon, hopefully when it's safe. Emir hasn't messed with any of this, so I don't think he's interested. I may put a few bottles of wine here. I'm not a drinker, especially at home, but all of my family loves wine. I do too at dinner or with a friend though. Now I'm at the entryway, just decluttering, then dusting surfaces here. I was going to clean out and declutter our shoes, but I wanted to get the boxes broken down and out of the way, so I'll save that for another video. My least favorite thing to do is break down boxes. I do this at least twice a week, sometimes more, depending on what we need. I order everything online. I haven't been to a store since mid-March. I'll be doing this again soon because I have a bunch of boxes, unopened boxes in my office. Sultan's birthday is coming up, so I'm having a birthday party here for her, a small one just like we did for Ruby. So I can't open any of that just yet because I don't want her to see it. I'm really sorry about these black waves. I don't know why that happens. I think maybe because I'm in darker areas because when I'm in a well-lit area, it doesn't happen. Hopefully it's not too distracting. Just bear with me. I'm still trying to learn this camera. That was it for day one. I still have a ton of laundry to do. My laundry room is in serious need of a deep clean. Cleaning cloths are piling up, but I have to tend to my kids before bed, so tomorrow is another day. This is the next day. I'm getting started on the couch first. 
I was going to wash the covers, but I haven't washed them since I bought the couch and I was scared I would mess up and ruin my video. So I just vacuumed it really well and fluffed it. There was so many hidden treasures in there. I can't move this couch like I did my old one, but trust me, I know there is so much junk under it. I need Noelle to help me take it apart. Even the cushions are heavy, but I love this couch. It's so comfortable and I get a lot of questions about it and it's linked on my Instagram along with a lot of other furniture items that I get questions about. So if you're curious, check under furniture links. I'm back in the laundry room to switch out laundry and continue the process. I separated everything off camera. After this, I'm going to vacuum any feathers from the cushion in the living room and set up to fold a massive load of towels. Yeah. 
Somebody rang my doorbell. I'm like, who could that be? Let me see if I have any missed calls. Nope. Who are you? <laughs> I don't play with people coming to my door, but it was just a delivery. I laugh like, oh, it's uh, just Target. In the kitchen, I'm taking care of the dishes really quickly just to keep up with what I did yesterday. I did pass the vacuum over the floors one more time and especially here where I had all the dirty laundry, I'm preparing to steam mop all the floors. I decluttered this catch-all shelf off camera and put the kids uh, crafts away and gave you guys the end result of this part of the house before I move into the laundry room and switch laundry and clean up in there.
I'm gonna vacuum the lint out of this dryer part where the lint thing goes. Some of it drops into there even though I keep up with it. I run my dryer sometimes at night while we're sleeping and I don't want it to catch fire. My mom warned me about that years ago so I always do it. Every load I toss out the lint and occasionally I vacuum it. In my son's room, I'm putting away this baby mattress that I did a video for recently. It's going to my niece's best friend for her adorable little boy. He's so cute. I'll drop that off to my sister's house over the weekend for her. Amir's room isn't messy at all. Uh, he doesn't play or sleep in here most of the time, so I'm just doing a basic tidy and the pass of the vacuum. My girl's bathroom was recently cleaned and really just Ruby uses this bathroom. Sultan still likes to use mine. Uh, Ruby takes out the trash and puts things away. I'm just in there to clean the mirror and the countertop and then vacuum. Also the toilet roll thingy fell off the wall so I'll have a handyman come and fix that soon. That is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, leave it a thumbs up and I'll make more like this. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all in my next video.